Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at conditional probability on tree diagrams so we can answer questions from exercise 2e. So we've all seen tree diagrams before, they're pretty familiar to us, but how can we use this concept of um, conditional probability on tree diagrams? Well, you've probably not seen a tree diagram written like this before, but this is effectively how a tree diagram is drawn technically and mathematically. First of all, we've got the first event, that's event A. And if you've only got two outcomes for event A, it's uh, the probability that A does happen and the probability that A does not happen, A dash. And then we've got event B that happens after that, two independent events, A and B here. Um, and if B has only two outcomes as well, then it goes not, it goes B and then not B, B and then not B. On the branches go the probability, so this is the probability of A down up here now. Now this is where it gets a little bit more technical, probably a way that you've never seen it be written before, but technically how it should be written. On this branch here, it's the probability that B does happen given that A already has happened. On this branch here, it's the probability that B does not happen given that A has happened. On this branch down here, we're going to have the probability that B does happen, given that A is not happening. And the last one, we're going to have the probability that B does not happen, given that A does not happen either. So a pretty technical way of drawing a tree diagram, this. But it all links into what you've done previously with tree diagrams in the first year and at GCSE as well. So... What we can do then is we can use this to lead to the probability formula of the probability of A and B, that would be this branch here, is equal to multiplying the branches as we go along, probability of A and probability of B given that A is true. Right then, let's crack on with the question then. So a bag contains six beads, uh, six green beads and four yellow beads. A bead is taken from the bag at random. The colour is recorded and not replaced. A second bead is then taken from the bag and its colour is recorded. Given that both balls are the same colour, find the probability that they are both yellow. So we've got a given that. The key part for this question is given that both balls are the same colour, what is the probability that they are both yellow? So let's start by drawing a tree diagram to help us visualise the situation. First, we pick the first bead out of the bag, and it's either going to be green or it's going to be yellow. Yellow, you could think, is uh, not green in this case here, but you could think of it as just green and yellow. And then the second bead gets pulled out, green or yellow, and it's green or yellow for the second bead as well. The probability of pulling a green bead out is 6 out of 10. The probability of pulling a yellow bead out is 4 over 10. Once you've pulled one green bead out, you then have a probability of 5 ninths to pull a second green bead out. This is the probability of green for the second pick, given that green was picked first. Probability of a yellow, if you've picked a green already, is 4 ninths. The probability of a green, given that you've picked a yellow, first of all, is 6 ninths, and the probability of a yellow, given that you picked yellow first, is 3 ninths. Now what we need to do here is we could use this formula here, the probability of A and B being true is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B, given that A is true. And rearrange it so that we can work out the given that probability. Our question here is asking for a given that probability here, so we need to divide it by the probability of A to leave us with this thing here. So, what we're going to do then with our notation is we're going to yet let both being yellow equal the terminology or the equal the notation of Y, Y, and the probability of them being the same, that's the given that, will be S. So that's the notation that we're going to use. What we're working out here is the probability that it's yellow, yellow, they're both being yellow, Given that, they are both the same. That's what the question is asking for here. So what we'll do then is we'll correspond and put all the B bits where the B bits go in the formula. And then we'll correspond and put the A bits where the A bits belong in the formula. And now we'll do the calculation then. So we've got the probability of yellow, yellow and it being the same colour. That would just be the probability of yellow, yellow over the probability of it being the same. So the probability of going yellow, yellow is 4 tenths times 3 ninths. And then the probability of it being the same 
Well, in this case here, you'd have to add together the probabilities of yellow, yellow and green, green. So the top is just going to be yellow, yellow, but the bottom is going to be the probability of the same outcome happening. That could either be green, green or it could be yellow, yellow. So the calculation is going to be this one here and the answer is going to be two sevenths. If the colours that are picked out are the same colour, the probability that it was yellow, yellow is two sevenths. Right then, your turn to have a go at this question here then. Pause the video and try this question out. Right then, let's get stuck in. So Jean always goes to work by bus, ta bus or takes a taxi. If one day she goes to work by bus, the probability she goes to work by taxi is 0 0.4. If one day she goes to work by taxi, the probability she goes to work by bus uh, the next day is 0 0.7. Given that Jean takes the bus to work on Monday, find the probability that she takes uh, a taxi to work on Tuesday, on Wednesday, sorry. Okay, so she's taken a bus to work on Monday. Um, so we can start by assuming that she's already taken a bus and think about Tuesday now. So this is going to be Tuesday. Um, we've got bus and taxi. Um, if she's taken a bus on Monday, uh, if one day she takes a goes to work by bus, the probability she goes to work by taxi the next day is 0.4. So it's going to be 0.4 down here, and it's going to be 0.6 up here. So that's Tuesday. Now we're going to have the probability of uh, Wednesday's transportation. So it's going to be um, bus and taxi as both the options on those branches. Now if she's taken a bus, then that's going to be the same as we had previously. But if she takes a taxi to work, the probabilities change. The probability she takes a bus the next day is now 0.7. So now this is going to be 0.3 down below. So the first branch is here were Tuesday. And then the second set of branches here were Wednesday. So we want to work out the probability that she takes a taxi to work on Tuesday. These are all probabilities to say that she has taken a bus to work on Monday. So let's work out then the probability that she takes a taxi to work on Wednesday. This is Wednesday, so it's either going to be 0 0.6 times 0 0.4, which is 0 0.24, or it's going to be taxi taxi 0 0.4 times 0 0.3, which is 0 0.12. Add the two together and we get 0 0.36. 0 0.36 is the probability that she would take a taxi to work on Wednesday, given that she has taken a bus to work on Monday. Right then, thanks very much for watching. Have a go at plenty of the questions from exercise 2e. Persevere through the difficult ones. Have a definitely have a go at the probability and the problem solving questions and ask a teacher for help if you need any. Thanks very much for watching.